I am Daniel Boulou, the Global Culinary Brand Ambassador for Celebrity Cruises. My name is Cornelius Gallagher. I'm the Vice President of Food and Beverage Operations at Celebrity Cruises. We know each other for more than 20 years. I was a sous chef at a restaurant called Danielle on 65th and Park. It's his flagship restaurant. And ever since I worked for him, we've just been friends. So we're rolling out a new experience called The Retreat. And we launched that first on Celebrity Edge. And with the revolution, we're rolling that out to the rest of the fleet. So what do guests get when they book in the retreat? They get a beautifully designed suite, they get an exclusive lounge, and of course, the beautifully designed sun deck. Lumine is our private restaurant exclusive for our retreat guests, and everything is done just a step above. I'm really excited to share a dish that we feature in Lumine today here at Baloud Sud, one of Daniel Baloud's beautiful restaurants here in Manhattan. We always draw a parallel between New York and the ships. They're both multicultural. You can get some of the world's best food here and on our ships. And it really, it just, I get a fire in my belly every time I come back here, I'm home. The menu at Lumine is a reflection of what we do here in New York at Bully Sud. In a way, it's a sense of journey around the Mediterranean. To me, cruising is about discovering different ports, different country, different flavor, different culture. And for Lumine, we created a menu who reflected this journey around the Mediterranean. When, uh, when was, was the last time we cooked together? This was... I, think, I think the last time was on the edge. On the edge, that's on the right. Edge. 20 years later, the magic still worked together for us. So the dish we're creating today is one of the signature dishes that we have for our guests, exclusive on the Lumine menu. It's a beautiful roasted ribeye with glazed vegetables, rutabaga puree, and a little bit of bordelaise and bernaise sauce. I am also preparing the chicken tagine and we serve also a steamed couscous with it. Basically, the couscous is there to give this balance, pick up the spice, take the sauce. So the dish has a certain rustic simplicity and a wonderful sophistication in the flavor. So the chicken get cut into six pieces. So now the chicken is gonna be seasoned with the spice. A little bit of sweet paprika. We use a lot of spice. We are celebrating the Mediterranean from Provence to Turkey, all along the coast. So there's a lot of flavor in the dish. The star of the show on my dish is this beautiful beef, grass Love fed. It. We're gonna cut off about an eight ounce piece. Beautiful steak. A little bit of white pepper, a little salt from up top, a little higher, not so close to the meat, so the seasoning spreads out. And then a little thing that I like to do right before the beef goes in the pan is I add a touch of oil over the top and this creates a little barrier and it prevents it from sticking also. What I love about the tagine is the simplicity and the complexity together. I'm gonna be adding the onion and the turnips. To that, I want to add a little bit more saffron. I like my tagine to be with cauliflower, some tomato. I like the tagine to have olives inside and pickled and salted cured lemon who bring a real saltiness, tanginess and fragrance to the dish. So it all starts with great ingredients, right? So we're starting with a beautiful cut of beef and we're gonna caramelize the outside, slow cook that. Caramelizing brings out the natural sugars. It's something called the Maillard reaction. It's when you apply heat to a protein, it caramelizes the natural sugars within the beef. It just adds a crunch, a textural component and brings out the natural beefiness of the dish. Cheers. Cheers. Thanks for the great experience. Thank you. Ooh. Cheers. The Mediterranean feast at Bouli Sud always start with meze. And then with the meze, we have baba ganoush, we have chickpea hummus with sweet pepper, we have salama salata, we have marmara and tajiki. Is it spicy? No. Mm. Sorry, I am at a loss of words. <laughs> this is really good. I love it. That's amazing. Hi, everybody. Good afternoon. Hey, how, how are you? Are you? So it's normally we'd well. be uh, cooking for you in Lumine at Celebrity Cruises, but today we're here at Balut So uh, on my side, I prepare a tagine of chicken with 12 spice. There is also cauliflower, olive, tomato, and a wonderful lemon couscous. And I have a roasted ribeye of beef with a little rutabaga puree below, glazed baby vegetables from the market, organic vegetables, and bordelais jus made from the uh, roasting of the meat. Bon Looks appetit, delicious. everybody. Thank you so much. Thank you. Enjoy, Thank you. enjoy your journey.
It smells so good. I know, it looks incredible. You smell all the aromatics, all the turmeric. Ready? Let's taste this now and see. Oh my God. It's so tender. Did you try the chicken yet? The chicken is phenomenal. It's delicious. The steak is really incredible. The sauce on it too. I love the way the saffron is mixed in with the turmeric and all the other spices and it's so tender and tasty and I just can't stop eating it. Mm -hmm. I always like to finish my meal with a light dessert. And at Lumine, we are serving the Vacherin of pistachio, raspberry, and meringue with flavors of lime and vanilla and whipped cream and the contrast of ice cream, sorbet, meringue, whipped cream. It's wonderful. It tastes magical. It's like a roller coaster of flavor. It's incredible. The flavors. And the tartness of the raspberries. If anybody's full, just uh, pass it on this way. I don't think we're going to have any leftovers. <laughs> it's an honor to be here. Thank you very much. I mean, Thank after you, after 20 years of, of knowing you and just knowing not only what a great chef you are, but what a great human being you are, it's an honor for to come back here and, and to cook back in New York with you. So I'm, I'm really Super. excited about it. Thank you. Bon voyage. Cheers. Cheers.